Good day, boys and girls. I wanted to sh introduce you to my next video. People go through all kinds of different emotions each day. But the one emotion that I know causes the most confusion is the same emotion that is shared by everybody. And it's conflict. Conflict can be a feeling that's inside of you as well as outside around with other people around you. So in the middle of your paper, the first way I want you guys to start is just to draw that symbol of conflict somewhere in your paper. And if you have a different version of conflict you want to draw, like an X, we'll start there and do that. The goal is that you can illustrate the feeling of conflict by using the language of line and color. So after you learn the language of color, think about what positive characteristic that you have, that's your strength. Think about your negative characteristic, something that about you that you want to fix or change or you're working on. That's your weakness, your negative characteristic. Pick one of those. You don't have to pick both. Pick one and illustrate how that feels or how that looks and think about how you would fix or change or fight that battle. The battles that we illustrate, the easiest ones to illustrate are the ones that we face inside. Some people call that type of feeling a battle of the heart. Others may call it checking your emotions. Either way, we all face these battles. And at the least, they make great epic story starters. Learning how these emotions conflict each other and how to conquer some of our weaknesses are a great way to start a story. Wouldn't you guys agree? How do you fight against your weaknesses? Do you do something good? Or do you have to let something bad go? Uh, like a bad thought or um, a negative way of thinking? Can your greatest strength actually be your weakness? Do you depend upon your strength more than you trust the help that people offer you? Or does your strength hide some other pain that you're feeling? How would color represent those things? How would lines represent those feelings and battles that are going on inside of us? And more importantly, how do you guard your heart? Do you value it? It's my belief that everything you do flows from your heart. Have a good day, guys. There's a couple more examples that may inspire you to illustrate how to uh, illustrate the conflict battle that you face inside your heart using the language of line and color, the language of art to illustrate it.